Hello friends, this is Priyanka. Today we are going to solve a problem on dimensional and model analysis. In this video, we are going to solve a problem on Reynolds model law. So first, I will read what is the given problem. A ship 300 meter long moves in a sea water whose density is 1030 kilogram per meter cube. A 1 is to 100 model of this ship is to be tested in a wind tunnel. The velocity of air in the wind tunnel around the model is 30 meter per second and the resistance of model is 60 newton. Determine the velocity of ship in sea water and also resistance of the ship in sea water. Density of air is given as 1.24 kg per meter cube. Take the kinematic viscosity of sea water and air at 0.012 stokes and 0.018 stokes respectively. So this was the given question. Let us first understand the given question. Now here ship moves in a sea water. That means ship is the actual structure. So we will take here the details of ship for the prototype. And here model is with the scale of 1 is to 100. So all the details of model that are given we will take here with this for model and we will take the scale 1 is to 100. So now we will take what is the given data. So first we will take the details of ship that is for prototype. So for the prototype for all the details we will use here the suffix P. And for the model for all the details we will use here the suffix M. Now length that is length that is LP is equal to 300 meter. Then fluid used that is ship moves in a sea water that is fluid is sea water. Then the density of water. So density so we will write here rho and to the base P that is 1030 kilogram per meter cube. Then the kinematic viscosity. So kinematic viscosity notation is nu. So nu to the base P that is 0 0.012 stokes. So we have to convert it into standard unit. So we will multiply here with 10 raised to minus 4. That is 0 0.012 into 10 raised to minus 4 meter square per second. Now here this kinematic viscosity which is equal to mu by rho. That we have to take into account. Then we will consider what is the velocity of ship. So velocity of ship that is Vp. Because P means prototype that is the actual structure. And resistance we will consider here as a Fp. And that we have to calculate. So I will make here the question mark. Then for the model. So model is made. That is it is the small scale replica of the actual structure. And here the scale used is 1 is to 100. So now first length. So how to decide the length? So with the help of 1 is 200. That is 1 by 100 times of original length. So what is the original length? 300 meter. So LM is equal to 1 by 100 into 300 which is equal to 3 meter. Then velocity. So velocity of model VM 30 meter per second. Then the resistance FM 60 Newton. Density of air. So what is the density of air that is rho m 1.24 kilogram per meter cube. And now what is the kinematic viscosity. So again notation is nu to the base m 0 0.018 stokes. So again we will convert it into standard unit that is 0 0.018 into 10 raised to minus 4 meter square per sec. Now if we observe ship is moving that means we have to take the dynamic similarity and for dynamic similarity we have to use the Reynolds model law. So what is the formula for this Reynolds model law? So here this formula is in terms of mu and rho but here the kinematic viscosity is given. So for this value of mu by rho we will directly use the this kinematic viscosity that is nu because this nu for the prototype as well as nu for the model is given. Now I will write here the formula. So first we have to write one statement for dynamic similarity Reynolds number should be same. So what is the formula that is Vp Lp by nu p which is equal to Vm Lm by nu m. Now we have to find out the velocity of ship ship that is prototype. So we will take here Vp on one side. So therefore Vp is equal to 
now i will take this lp and up terms to the other side so i will write here vm multiplied by lm by lp because here this lp goes to the denominator multiplied by now this nu p from denominator it will move to the numerator nu p by nu m so now it is easy for us to put the value so what is the value of nu m that is 0.018 into sorry what is velocity that is 30 meter per second so we have to take here velocity that is 30 multiplied by lm by L lp so lm 3 divided by lp so lp is 300 now here nu p so what is nu value of nu to the base p that is 0 0.012 into 10 raised to minus 4 divided by nu m that is 0 0.018 into 10 raised to minus 4 now if we try to simplify here this 10 raised to minus 4 10 raised to minus 4 is getting cancelled then here 1 0 is um, getting cancelled and here 3 and here is 10 so 3 by 10 multiplied by 12 by 18 so we can easily calculate this so what is the answer here that is 0 0.2 meter per second so this is the answer of first question that is the velocity of ship now we will move for the second question that is we are going to calculate the resistance so what is this resistance that is mass into acceleration but if we observe in the given data mass and acceleration are not directly given so if we observe density is given so how we can define this density so density rho is equal to mass by volume and volume is the geometric term so how we can define this volume that is length cube l cube that is equal to volume so we will write here rho is equal to m by v and that's why rho is equal to m by l cube so this, this is the dimension that is this is the dimension for mass and this is the dimension for volume in terms of l because if we observe length and velocity so velocity we have calculated and length that is already given now what about the acceleration so here if we write this acceleration in terms of velocity so acceleration is equal to v by t now again if we observe this time t is not given in the question so now we will just put this value so we will write here resistance is equal to so this mass that is rho into l cube multiplied by acceleration that is v by t now if we observe this now this t is not known so if we observe if we will take here length by time so l by t so we know that the displacement by time or distance by time that velocity is equal to distance by time and that is equal to l by t so we will take here rho into l square into v by 1 into l by t so l by t is equal to v so this v multiplied by v that is v square so how we can define this resistance that is rho l square v square now we know the formula that is resistance for the prototype and the resistance for the model that is fb by fm is equal to rho l square v square p divided by rho l square v square m now if we observe here we will separate this all the terms that is rho p by rho m multiplied by l p by l m bracket square multiplied by v p by v m bracket square now we will put the value of density of prototype so rho p is 1030 density of model so here density is given 1.24 then length of prototype length of model so length of prototype 300 and here is 3 then velocity of prototype that we have already calculated 0.2 and velocity of model so it is given 30 so when we put all the values so here we have to take square for the velocity and length and if we calculate it we will get the answer 369.17 so this is the value of ratio fb by fm 
Now Fm is known. That is the resistance of model 60 Newton. So here the unit is Newton. So for this ratio, if we calculate, if we multiply with this 60 Newton, because this F P is equal to Fm into 369.17 and for this Fm the unit is Newton and this is the standard unit so answer is 22150.2 Newton.